how do I handle a lowball offer? Um, that's a great question. So I'm Chris Willow Williams with the Go Getter team, and we do real estate here in Metro Atlanta. Um, and it is the case where either I'm representing buyers from time to time, or I'm representing a seller, and the lowball offer comes to the table. So uh, if I'm working with a seller of the property, the question always is, is, are we priced properly for the market? If we're priced properly for the market, then that question is out of the way. And we know that we've got a good price on the property and we've got a low ball offer. What I always tell uh, the person I'm representing as a seller is, is don't let your emotions enter into it. Um, it's very common that people will be offended by it. You know, they'll feel like my property is worth X, Y, Z. What I always say to people is you can't be mad at people for trying to get the best deal, right? Sometimes you have people who are negotiators and they like to at least make an effort to get the best deal. Um, when that offer comes in, I usually give them one of two um, recommendations after I check with the agent to see if it's a credible buyer, of course. One is... You can counter offer them with the actual same list price that you have just to kind of tell them that, hey, I'm firm. Or you can give just a slight decline if you know that you're willing to give it a little bit up. And when I say slight, I mean very slight. Maybe if uh, it's a $300,000 price, maybe you'll take $2,000 off the price of the home. Just to kind of indicate to them if you're willing to negotiate, but that you're not willing to come anywhere close to the price that they've made as an offer. And uh, that, that usually weeds out the people who have no interest in the property from people who have interest, but they at least want to make the effort, right, to try to get the best deal. And uh, likewise, when I have somebody ask me whether or not they want to make a, uh, whether they should make a lowball offer, I always say to them the same thing is, is, you know, obviously someone could get offended, but at the same time, you don't know until you try. We've all heard that one or two stories of the possibility of someone winning the lottery and it's kind of just like that you don't actually win the lottery if you don't play a ticket and the same is true as you don't actually get a great 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 deal an unbelievable deal on the property unless you submit the offer so if you have more questions about this please reach out to us on our social media you can follow us and send us a direct message and we'll be happy to answer your questions